Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing great. Hi Christina. This is a video response to Christina Horner, by the way, um, talking about the earliest memories. One of my earliest memories is when I was around five. I was walking around um, in the courtyard of the hospital when my brother was born. And I remember feeling really excited and I hadn't seen my mother for such a long time so I I was kind of um, you know walking around just being curious about my about seeing my brother and feeling really happy and excited about it when he got home I also remember this huge bed and this tiny little boy lying in the middle of it which was really sweet and yeah. My grandmother was holding my brother and I had this huge, really beautiful piggy bank, which was pretty full, but uh, yeah, I it, it was so beautiful that I didn't want to break it. So I think, um, yeah, my brother loved it and I was kind of entertaining him with this huge figure. Um, and at some point he wanted to hold it, so I saw, like, I mean, he was really tiny and I thought, you know, he could easily break it and um, I, I just felt it. And my grandpa, my grandmother was like, no, you know, just, just give it to him. So I did and I, I didn't feel too good about it. And of course... All of a sudden, it went boom, and it just exploded, and it, the the um, the coins just scattered all over the floor, and it was pretty crazy. Like everything was all over the floor, and yeah, we, uh, my grandmother, went with me, and we bought like some cake. <laughs> Like, like tons and tons of cake. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's... <laughs> yeah. What else? I was staying in Gojori, which is a village near Tbilisi, but when it gets really hot in the capital, most people tend to go to the villages nearby, which tend to be um, situated on a higher level, like in the mountains. So, um, I was running across the emerald fields when I noticed this really beautiful butterfly. It was huge and it was just, just so colorful and so beautiful and uh, it sat on a flower so I looked at her and I, I really wanted to show her to my mom and to everybody else so I froze for a while and I stretched my arm out and it sat on it and I kind of moved her to the palm of my arm uh, to, to the palm of my hand and covered her with my other hand and just carried her left left a gap for her to breathe so uh, she wouldn't suffocate and I went really fast I mean it, it was just like maybe a one minute walk or two minutes to walk and yeah I, I checked on her and she was dead And the thing is, like, a lot of more dramatic things happened, but I remember that moment as something that always makes me feel sad when I think um, back um, about it. Yeah. I don't want to end on a sad note, so one of my warmest, fluffiest memories was getting my first two-wheel bicycle and I had practiced on other 
children's bicycles. Um, it was in the same village, by the way, and um, not a lot of kids had bicycles, so they would just, um, you know, take turns. And I never went through this transition from a three-wheel one to a two-wheel one. And at some point, like, it was my birthday and the colleagues of my dad brought me this bicycle. And it felt like someone had given me a pair of wings. I was tiny and the bicycle felt huge and I felt like I was flying um, across and it, it just felt so, so wonderful. By the way, I found this little guy, or girl, by the way, her name is Helga. Um, she's German, like some German friends. Unfortunately, she lost an eye. She's, um, I think, m my oldest toy. I um, must have been around four or five. Maybe, maybe even... Yeah, ar around that time, I think. So it's pretty much over 20, 21 years old or something. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you around. Feel free to share your memories, maybe even as a response, that would be amazing.